Hawkeye is the show, the Disney Plus Marvel show that I've now watched the most. I've gone back and rewatched that a bunch of times. I actually really enjoy it. Uh, it's again, it accomplishes like WandaVision introduces Monica, Loki introduces Sylvie, the Hawkeye introduces Kate Bishop, it introduces Maya Echo, and it brings Yelena uh, out of the whole Black Widow stuff now into the main MCU, like interacting with the main characters. So it's, it's a great bridge moment to bring Yelena's character into the fray and get her then, I'm assuming, involved in the Avengers in the future, taking like um, Natasha's place on the team. So, but I enjoyed it. And the story's, I think, straight out of the comic books that with tracksuit mafia and everything. Um, I'm a little worried about how Disney's going to handle um, Wilson Fisk and Matt Murdock and any of the other like Netflix Marvel characters they bring over the Defenders um, Marvel characters I think they're branding them on Disney Plus now I'm a little worried I mean Vincent D'Onofrio is just perfect as Wilson Fisk he was slid right into the role again but they've clearly leveled up his physical strength in Hawkeye so I don't know if there's going to be an explanation for why he's suddenly so much stronger or if that's just the way he is. And this is the same character, but sort of not. I'm not sure. They haven't really addressed how they are um, dealing with this being the same actor playing the same character that we have in the, I guess, Defenders Netflix shows. So we'll see. But it makes me worried about what they're going to do with Matt Murdock when we get our new Daredevil. Uh, I think Because I think they announced they're doing another Daredevil season. And whether it's going to be Daredevil season four or whether it's just going to be the MCU Daredevil season one, uh, we, who knows when we'll find that out. But if they're leveling up Wilson Fisk, I suspect they're leveling up Daredevil's abilities. Which, would to be fair, he's... They're actually a bit reduced in the Netflix show than they are in the comics. His abilities are a bit more than that in the comic books. Um, as silly as the Ben Affleck Daredevil films were, um, his Daredevil, I think, was a bit closer to what the comic books uh, characters' abilities are. So we'll see. We'll see how they adjust that. Now, if you haven't watched the Netflix Marvel shows... Uh, the Hawkeye um, series is a great um, contrast and compare because as much as I enjoy the Hawkeye show, the if you look at the fighting, especially in the season finale, it's very cartoony comic book. You know, yes, they're shooting arrows and all these people should they should be killing all these people, but it's sort of cartoon violence where they're bouncing around and being thrown around and you know they're not none of them are really dead. Except maybe the, the ones who got shrunk and they're probably being eaten by an owl. But outside of them, you know, it's very cartoony comic book violence. Um, compare that to Daredevil. And that's like knockdown, knuckle-paired, knockdown, drag him out. Like pretty hardcore fight scenes, like in hallways, in staircases. It's... Um, it's a very, it's a much more harsh and rough and mature fight, fighting style. So if they do, it looks like they are doing Daredevil season four, they really need to keep that level. It needs to go under the parental guidance section of Disney Plus. Because if they do a Daredevil four and it's, the violence is like silly comic book, like cartoony violence like Hawkeye, it's not going to work at all. Because... The Daredevil show, part of what makes it work is it is so visceral and raw. And it needs to stay that way. Because that's what made it so good and so effective and such great storytelling. And this was the mistake with Moon Knight. Moon Knight needed to be 
rough and tumble and hardcore like the Daredevil Netflix show was. Moon Knight needed to be done under like with a mature like semi R rating where it would go under the parental guidance part portion because it's not Moon Knight without that. Moon Knight is he's kind of sort of like a mystical Batman and the guy's pretty hardcore when it comes to violence and they really they really cut most of the violence out and even the fighting scenes where they add a little humor and comic you know comicness to them they made it just too lighthearted. so um moon knight was the first one of the marvel shows that's a miss for me i was really disappointed uh oscar isaacs fantastic give the guy an emmy absolutely i mean brilliant acting performance but just some of the choices that they made for the character just i just don't understand uh in the comic books it's mark specter he's a kind of mercenary He's like the main person. And he crafted these other personas, and each persona that he crafted has a very specific purpose. It gives them him access to a part of society that he needs to go to to get whatever information he needs for whatever quest or thing he's um, tackling and dealing with. So Stephen Grant is kind of your Bruce Wayne, like billionaire kind of playboy he becomes Stephen when he needs access to the power and elite. And he becomes Jake. Jake's a cabbie at night. So Jake has access to that kind of seedy criminal underbelly uh, of the city. And then Mark is his most flexible one where he's a mercenary. He gets he can go all over the place, all over the world. So and the dissociative identity disorder was something that came later in the comic books with the character. Um, but each again, each personality had a purpose that fit, you know, him moving in society. And in this, it's like turning Stephen into sort of this like bumbling, introverted, like English dude working in a gift shop, which is really weird. And uh, they were able to circumvent the show being that hardcore sh violence it needed um, by doing the, you know, blacking out and then waking back up and you see the aftermath. And that started out as a really cool like dynamic, but by the end of the show, it ended up just being a gimmick. Because if you're going to do that, you have to have a payoff. By the end of the series or the end of the season, you have to actually show that happen at least once. Because we assume it's Mark until we actually get to meet Mark. And then Mark, for some reason on the show, is the most inept uh, mercenary I've ever seen in my life. I mean, the guy was useless. He kept getting knocked out, get beaten, getting beat up, kept having to be saved by either Steven or Layla. I mean, his character was really like, what was the point of him? He couldn't do anything at all. So, but the moment you saw him and you realized that oh, he, just, he just gets knocked out with one punch, it's like, okay, he's not the dude that was slaughtering people. So you have to show that by the end of the season. And they didn't, because they just didn't want to get the parental, have to put it in the parental rating section, which ultimately was hurt the show. Because, you know, you tell me you're going to give me six episodes of Moon Knight, five and a half hours of a Moon Knight show, and I get, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of Moon Knight, and half that's the Stephen Grant Moon Knight, where he's just kind of, you know, silly stuff. You know, imagine being told, hey, here's a five and a half hour limited series about Batman, you know, the Dark Knight, and he's only Batman for like 25 minutes. <laughs> like, what is that? So ultimately, I you know, disappointed in it. I'm hoping if they get to season two, that they fix that and go the mature route because it, it doesn't really work without it. The character can't work without that level of brutality. And, but I am hoping we are going to get the Midnight Suns because they're beginning to bring the pieces together. we got Moon Knight. We have um, the Black Knight, Kit Harrington's character. Uh, we know Ghost Rider's coming. Um, I'm hoping we get the Netflix Punisher, the same actor. Um, but we're getting all the components. Werewolf by Night is coming later this year, I think in a Halloween special. So... They're giving us the building blocks to a Midnight Suns. And 
Midnight Suns has to be hardcore to do it right. You know, it needs to be like Deadpool kind of violence in order for it to work. Moon Knight should have been like that Deadpool kind of violence, which is, I think, why ultimately it, it didn't work for me. Because I love the character in the comic books.